Hello everyone and welcome to my pedal board 2018 video. Whew, yeah, I'm all excited. This video is me designing a full-blown rig, but only by using pedals that are available out there in 2018. Now, personally, when I play live, I bring my Fractal Axe 8 and plug it into a power amp. It's a great way to be able to fly around and have a consistency in my sound wherever I go. Or for my workshops, I use a computer and plugins. But for this video, I'm gonna try and make a small pedal rig that sounds absolutely crushing. So only pedals, nothing else, okay? In this video, I have chosen my favorite pedals for 2018 and put them on this Toman pedal board. So let's go, let's check it out. Okay. Oh would be awesome with a click there. So what would be the first thing in a pedal board, you would ask? A tuner? Not a mine, because I used to have a tune bridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I just skipped that one. Okay, this guitar does not have an Evertune bridge, by the way. So great, Ola, great planning ahead. So I'm just gonna skip the tuner on this one, okay? Now the first pedal on a pedal board for metal would have to be a really great noise gate. And that's what I have here. I've chosen the Fortin Sewell noise gate. It's a one knob, simple to work gate that sounds absolutely fantastic. No weird cutoffs, it just works. And seeing it being the brainchild of Mike Fortin, I wouldn't imagine it being anything less than amazing. I just love that guy, love him. Not being paid to say that, by the way. It has one knob and that's it, you know, if you have a splitter, you can even have a Sewell tap off the signal before the distortion and it will be even perform even better. But as a standard gate, it's still one of the best I've heard. Easy as that. After the noise gate here, I have a Fortin 33 override pedal. And just like the Sewell, it has only one knob, but it's basically all you need. It's a filtered clean boost that is just the best when it comes to metal right now. And I'll show you in a bit, okay? So after the 33 pedal, I've chosen to have the Rev G3 pedal. It's just a great sounding distortion pedal. And you could almost say it's like a preamp. It sounds super, super awesome. And uh, if you see my demo video of it, you know that I've taken a liking for this pedal. <laughs> It has a modern distortion tone to it, and it sounds like a, like a pre-amplifier, you know, taken from a tube amplifier. And what I like about it is that it sounds genuine. The EQ knobs have a real range and also has enough usable gain, which does not sound like absolute horseshit when you turn it up. This pedal is on the top of my distortion pedal list right now, okay? So let's engage the 433 pal and see how it's tightening up the distortion that we have. I mean, it's already pretty tight. But say I want even tighter. Oh. If you're playing one of those gent bands, Thank you. 
So now after the distortion pedal, this is where all the fun begins, the effects. And for this, I've chosen the Behemoth from Eventide, the H9 multi-effect pedal. This is a monster of a small multi-effect with all the effects I would need, like chorus, delays, reverbs, even overdrives, pitch, whatever face, and a lot of extra shit that you don't need. But it has, like tremolo and wah wah pedal. It has so much stuff in it, and the effects sound amazing. This is also a really great companion if you want a MIDI controllable multi-effect with any other rig you have. And it also has a pedal expression input and two inputs and two outputs at the back, meaning you can use it for a four cable method kind of setup. Try something else. So much to do in there that's cool now from here if you would use an amplifier to hook everything up you're pretty much set but say you don't have one well then you need something like the mower radar here this is an impulse loader basically simulating the sound of a power amplifier and a mic cabinet and from this mower you can send a cable straight into the mixing desk or sound card or whatever you want and you'll have a usable sound this is connected to my other interface right now, and this is the, the direct signal that you're hearing. The best thing about the radar is that you can load in your own impulses into it, so you can basically make an impulse of your home sound and bring it with you on tour. How cool is that? Huh? So I've loaded up one of my own impulses in here, so I'm basically good to go. And it also has this built-in EQ and uh, different parameters that you can change. So, I mean, if you're not happy with the, with the standard sound, you can still EQ it a little bit. So that's really good. So let's try another, another impulse here. What's this? Not the bass caps. That's not, no, here. <laughs> That's a lot of low end. That was good. I like that one. Okay, let's go back to Old England, the Swede. Okay, you ask, but Ola, how do you go about clean sounds, you dickhead? Well, just turn off the G3 pedal. That's the direct clean sound going, and that sounds pretty good. Am I right? So how do you power all this bullshit? Well, either with a lot of batteries, a lot of cables, 
or I'm using this mower S10 power bank. It's a rechargeable power supply to use with PALS. And as you can see, there's nothing connected to it. So it's not connected to any mains or anything like that. And it has a lot of different voltage options. So you can basically power any type of PAL with this one, except for this one, because this one is center positive. Hmm. But you can even feed an 18 volt pedal in here. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, imagine if this pedal board was shorter, then it's a small as hell rig to put in a backpack or whatever you're using to carry around your burdens. And also, as you can see, as you could probably see, look at all these tight cabling I've been using here. This is uh, something I did myself. I'm very proud about it. Uh, these are cables from uh, Diadario. And let me see if I have all the tools here. Basically, you, it's their patch thingy kind of thing that you buy, patch cable thingy. So you buy these loose connectors and then uh, 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 a cable, and then you cut the cable and you basically uh, screw in the screw and the screw and then you have a small ass ca patch cable like that for your perfect pedal board so you don't have to have all these super long stupid cables and you know stupid patch cables now you can have the perfect length like this for me as a control freak this is very 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 good for my uh, mind right now <laughs> All right, so this is the 2018 pedal board right here. I would probably be comfortable with using this in a live situation. I'm not saying that I'm gonna, but it contains all of my favorite pedals right now. And I think it sounds really good as it is. So links to all the products used in this video in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you did not, then better luck next time. Thank you. Bye. I know what you're all thinking. There's one pedal missing. I agree. Okay, let's just bypass everything we do like this. This is what we do. <laughs> Challenge of the day. <laughs> there it is, Pellboard of 2018. It's just this pell. I was joking about the rest. See ya.